namaste love and light to all we have come already to april 2022 and i'm preparing this reading for cancer cancer sign i will try to do it in love but if there is any other messages that that come through i will have to bring them up as uh, our guides and spirit wants other cancer signs to know other details right remember that the, the messages are not private they will resonate to differently for every person and uh, also if you're a new viewer i invite you to subscribe there's other content that i will be and i'm working on and if you are returning viewer thank you again you can visit my instagram at velvet fire goddess this is energias y artes mysticas feel at your comfort this space has been prepared for you and let's begin for cancer in in love april let's uh, i'm gonna put probably the first two weeks of april we're already in the end of the first almost the first week we're still on airy season mid-april there's going to be a change of uh, from Aries to another sign, another element. And we have to take that in consideration because a lot of water signs have been suffering in this Aries season and other signs. Drastic changes, feeling very like burned out, overwhelmed, very stressed. It's, it's so fast, it's so heavy. So everything will start clearing up mid-April 2022. For Cancer, the card of love came <clears throat> and it says to look for the uh, Malachite or Malachite. Very bad at pronouncing. As you can see, my channel is in Spanish. But I'm pretty sure you know more than me about this beautiful rock. I don't know if you can really... Yes, you can see it there. And this one, and I will pronounce it Malachite helps you find worthy recipients who appreciate your care and commitment helps you find worthy recipients hmm, in love in love in love is cancer are cancer signs already going in dates have they are they not feeling ready did they did they just go through something i mean to help find worthy recipients hmm if you can't actually have access to these rocks and crystals, try to look for the same color or a similar color, which it will help. It's like an emerald color. Emerald turning into like a darkish green. <clears throat> it's going to help. <clears throat> it's going to help to, to find stability. Green is for... Green helps a lot with with the chakras i and i right now i think it's the um yeah it's it's like a, a self-grounding chakra i totally forgot the name of it it's like it's so early in the morning i don't feel too good um i've been sick so i feel like uh, my thoughts are all, all over the place but it's, it's a very grounding chakra and it's good to to um, for self self aware to understand what is right for us what is good and what doesn't and what looks shady and might not be worthy of our energy that's why it's good to wear also if you cannot have access again to the rock you can use the color what are the messages from oracle from for the first two days in april for cancer in love <clears throat> Excuse me for my voice. <clears throat> it is tough. It's tough to get sick. And record. But here we are. Beautiful. Again, we see the green again. It's not coincidence. It's a sign. It's a message for cancers. Green, healing, yellowish. It's a very yellow greenish with the lotus flowers, pinkish, turning red. It's like a very, um, so, mm, yeah, the, like the root chakra, the root chakra, healing, understanding, passion. And it says, Matangi, 
She is the tantric queen of outcasts, unveiling the hidden inner powers to thrive outside conventional society. If you have been denied love and respect, she brings healing and empowerment. If you have suffered rejection, abandonment, or being labeled as unworthy in any way, she brings dignity and repair. She clears the way for a creative, joyful, and vibrant life path. So we're going to begin and continue what this cancer needs to know. Spirit guides, ancestors, guide us. What does cancer need to know for April? I, I feel that there's like a block. That there's like a blockage of energy here. I don't know if it's in thoughts. Or not being able to understand. Or not feeling understood. There's a block here. And... Um, it's blocking your your blessings, I heard. It's blocking your point of view and uh, growth. Or you feel blocked. You feel blocked. Ace of Pentacles. We begin with the Ace of Pentacles. At the beginning of April is going to be slow, but you will see growth. Growth in financial abundance. Change of uh, a status in a job also. New promotions. I could also sense that. Someone is coming with a proposal, I heard. With a Knight of uh, Cups. Yeah, but someone, it's not. Yes, there's someone here. There, there's an energy here that's a very... It's not too approachable. Someone comes offering some sort of stability or a or proposing something in romance if it's for in romance to cancers or you are doing that cancer. And there is an energy that it's coming towards that it's not it's like a it's not receptive. It's not a nice response. It's a very chaotic it's very stingy, and um, it's very fast. It's fast with words, I heard, and it's not on the same level. They're not at the same at the same level with the energy. It's not a compatible energy. I also sense with the King of Swords and the Stars, someone is. Someone has is feeling hurt, and that's why they are approaching with this offer in that way, like a you know, like a very negative or not too sweet way. Um, I think sometimes that's why colors do match with the chakras, because it helps. It helps to. It's a. Uh, it's a very healing thing, the mind. That when it looks into colors, it, it you know it helps. It helps the colors that you use, the things that you listen to, the songs and the words, help your mind change a little. If someone is feeling hurt, if this is you, Cancer, or you're reaching out to someone who is not appreciating the way that you are coming with a proposal, and you feel neglected in a certain aspect in love. Is because they are. They're telling me that they they have been, they have been hurt, and uh, they might come as not feeling too empathetic. They don't un unapproachable, cold at times. What else? What else? The cancer need to know. You know. What else? Two opposite energies. One is a very grounding one, the other one is a, yes, the other one, it just wanted to come out. Again, it's, it's that, uh, there's a strong air sign, king of swords, strong air sign, Libra, Aquarius, and, Ver oh, no, <laughs> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, and we also have Earth, two strong energies, and the tower. Someone is just being very stingy and they want things clear. They want things their way. They will be petty at times and they're just going to feel like they are withdrawing from 
<clears throat> emotions <clears throat> from connecting to the other person in love. And it's inevitable. The, the tower is there. The tower is there. It's just right there. It's like it had to happen. And it's because of three of swords. What you don't see coming is there's a three of swords. That tower might already happen or will happen. You don't see coming the three of swords, something very painful. It's very heavy and it costs a lot of effort. It costs a lot of effort. For someone to step up with the truth. And it will take time. It will take time for someone to really come up with the truth. Something is happening. You know what's best. Someone came out, probably, it could be your case, that for, for some cancers in love in April. You have proposed to someone, you reach out and say, listen, you know, I like you. You, you, you want to go out, you want to think about it, you know, let's date. And the other person is just coming like a very, very negative, just not even wanting to know about that. Though you could have been in a relationship as well, and you want to reach out and say, "Listen, let's go out. Let's let's do something as a couple." And and you, I don't know where you just find out that this there's so much arguments going on in a in a couple relationship proposal situation. There's a collapse. There's something that's not working. There's a lot of arguments. Endings. Decisions that need to be take, taken and and it's going to and it's not gonna be a a, a a very fast one. It's gonna be like a very slow, thoughtful process in terms if it's to ending. I want to know what the star card is. There's a lot of air, air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What does the star card mean? Knight of Swords. This is a strong Aquarius in here. Libras or Gemini's. Someone is coming with with a key. Meaning they will push the buttons. They will push the buttons. I sense that there's someone here that it's like a very mean person. And it's someone that probably is, uh, cancers have had a long relationship or have known them for a long time, or someone that they know from the past and they actually wanted to do something and reconnect and have a relationship in the present time, well, that person is just at times, yeah, very... They don't really want to know or work towards anything. The skin of swords. They don't want to know about love vibes. They're they're like very dry. I don't know. There's a very uh, it's a strong energy. I felt that in my stomach. This air sign, this uh, this other king of swords. That uh, there's like three three characters here, three people. This king of swords um, is is putting a lot of barriers. There, um, this is the one that's that's hurt, and um, they have other options. 
and they're going through a lot right now. If this is not you, Cancer, and this is someone else, they're going through a lot. They're not ready for anything. Yeah, they're full of swords. The guys are saying just stay away from that. It's just too much. It's too much. I don't even want to continue with this King of Swords anymore. No, if you're the one offering, just stay away from that energy. You don't need your energy to be consumed on someone who doesn't appreciate your time. It's not going to see it. They're not going to see it. The Tower and the Hermit. Mm. Thinking about an ending. Uh, yeah, it's a couple. Queen of Swords here for the Hermit. It's a couple for many, for a group of cancers. It's a couple that will have a big argument and they will have a big dispute. And also, they also, the guides are also telling me it's a couple that they have had many months or weeks or days that they don't even have anything. They don't have intimacy. They're just, they're just there to be there. And it's just going to, something here they keep arguing coming back and forth and i don't know if it's because you're offering to one of them or you know this couple and um and it's just like it's crazy the star again yeah something there's a there's something that needed to that needs to happen. That ending needs to happen. But I sense that cancers are like out of this. I don't know why I'm sensing cancers are out of this. Cancers, I sense, are these. This two. And the rest is the other people who cancers are dealing with. Which could be two or three people in there. Strong third party. Strong third party. But third party doesn't have to just be, and again, it doesn't have to be because we are in a triangle, love triangle, third party. Third party could be someone coming into your relationship or you are trying to date someone that they don't tell you that they are married or you are in a, in a relationship and people are just putting their noses in your relationship and commenting and trying to tell people what to do with their lives and you know what's best for you and your relationship and your other half, right? That's why it's coming up with the Three of Swords. It's, someone is it's very heavy. It's very heavy. There's a lot of pain that's going to come. You don't see coming that. Stay away from negativity in these people. There's someone who's very toxic here. And they just want things their way. Yeah, there's manipulation. In this ending, someone is already thinking of breaking up with someone that are in a long relationship they they are or have been a strong uh, couple right and they are probably even well known around or something going on for a group of cancers and um it has to happen this ending has to happen in order to like uh, kick in new energy and shift in and all that stuff that you know about and it has to happen because there's a, there's a lot of manipulation going on i even sense here that there's someone working and manipulating energies. Manipulating energies by looking for someone to do so or they're doing it on their own. Manipulate, manipulating energies could be from, from your mind. Manipulating someone's energy. Manipulating someone's thoughts. Trying to convince someone over something. Trying to be seen as they're the ones that are not doing the wrong. Or looking for someone to do spells. Simple. That's what I sense in here. Cancers. Well, you don't see coming the last. I don't want to. Knight of Cups. Again, we have the Knight of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful energy, right? Look at them. So nice. So innocent. So beautiful. Um, water, cup, emotions. What well, you don't see coming, two of wands. He's coming. He's coming with an offer. Someone is coming with an offer. Na, um, Knight of Wands. No, Eight of Wands. Yeah, that again, there's something that's very heavy here and the hangman. There's something that's coming. There's an offer that it's coming, a love offer. It could be you or someone else. You will be looking or knowing other people. Other people are going to be looking at you as well. 
and they might want to connect with you, but it's going to take time because there's just a lot of heavy baggage here. This, this is heavy. What you don't see coming is it will take time, but you have to release first. That's why it's, remember what it says here. It helps you find worthy recipients who appreciate your care and commitment. Someone here is not appreciating your cancer and you don't deserve this. You don't need this energy. Release this toxicity. Get rid of this um, energies, old patterns, circles, cycles. It will all move in your favor mid-April. You're going to have a shift of thoughts. Trust me, when you let them go, new offers will come in because there is one that I see here, but it's just there with a hangman. It's just there. It doesn't want to move. It's taking time because you are stopping your blessings by giving your energy to a people who are not even appreciating your time. Cancer, this was your love reading for mid-April. 2022. I hope it helps someone out there. I hope it resonates. Give it a thumbs up, a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Why not? Remember to share, um, go visit uh, Velvet Fire at, at uh, in Instagram, and we'll be working towards more content. Take care of yourselves, honeys. Love and light. Stay blessed.